Okay guys, welcome back here to the channel, doing another uh, how-to video here, and this is going to be um, how I clean uh, bug debris and guts off the front of a vehicle. So I'm going to bring you in here, you're not going to be able to really see anything here on camera, so I'm going to bring you in up closer, and just let me show you. It's a silver paint, so it's really hard to see, but I mean, you can see these here, but there are a lot of other bug guts in here, and it's just a rock chip see bug gut down there a little bit there up on the headlight there's bugs right down the black trim it's definitely not horrible but again it is silver paint so it really doesn't show a whole lot so let me bring you guys back here bear with me so what do I use to clean bugs what I take is an all-purpose cleaner in this bottle right here um, it's specifically American detail or garage uh, wipeout is a specific uh, cleaner you dilute that 10 to 1 um, safe enough for the paint safe enough for any plastic trim uh, the entire front of this vehicle doesn't have that all that black is uh, is a shiny uh, piano finish um, but a lot of front of the cars have a lot of plastic on them today uh, so this is safe for that it's not going to discolor I do have the vehicle here in the shade just so I can give this a cleaner a little bit of time to dwell and then the next part I have here in my bucket is I have uh, the American Detailer Garage Wipeout again uh, diluted one ounce to one gallon of water and I'm gonna do a combination thing here. I'm gonna do kind of a combination of a rinseless wash um, and also um, uh, using a, a power washer to rinse. So the first thing that I do is we're gonna take the trigger here, uh, the bottle, and we're gonna soak the bugs down and then we'll let it sit for a minute or two and then we'll start agitating with the towel I have in the bucket. Again, being a dilutable product, you can be liberal with it. You don't have to be conservative with it. And uh, Billy Bogus did a, a really good job when they developed this product. This F bomb has um, incredible, incredible lubrication. So as you can see, I didn't even rinse the front of the car down. I don't need to. Between the lubrication from the cleaner and what's in the bucket, I'm not going to be scratching this. Okay. So let that sit there for a minute. Let that dwell on the paint. Uh, yes, it will remove um, any any wax. It was definitely remove waxes. Um, sealants will be a little bit more. Um, a little bit more durable with this because it's not as it's not a high dilution for the product uh, but you know the car is going to get a, a high after i'm done washing i'm probably going to spray it with bead maker um anyway so it's going to get a protection on it regardless so now i've let that let that sit take my towel i don't completely wring the towel out i do just let it see it's not dripping wet but it's it's still pretty soaked so i'll come in here and just agitate and those bugs are coming off with no effort at all. No effort at all, guys. Nothing. Just my hand and the towel. thoroughly done. There's a lot of rock chips on this thing already. Jeez.
lugs are coming off. Minimal effort here. And down here on the bottom. Intricate parts of this grill. I apologize. It's being a little bit longer. Go over the face of the grill. All right. So the next step would be if you're a mobile detailer, um, this process that I just did here with the rinseless wash bucket and the cleaner and the spray bottle, uh, you would not have to rinse this. You could just take a towel and just go over and dry, but since I do have the access to the power washer, I am just gonna rinse it down and uh, just flush all the cleaner out of the uh, cracks and the crevices. I will be right back in just a second. Bring you guys in here for the final results. As you can see, most of the protection's gone. Still a little bit left in that spot, but overall the protection's gone. But as you can see, the bugs are gone. And again, it wasn't hammered, it wasn't too, too bad, but like I said, silver also uh, hides that a lot more. So you don't see them as much. Silver's a great color if you uh, want a vehicle that doesn't show the dirt. It's a great color to have, but it is a little bit more plain. You can see they're completely gone. Now when it comes to the mirrors, depending on how bad the mirrors are, there's just a couple bugs on the mirror. I'll just get those off when I wash the car. But you can do the same process on the mirrors if they're really bad. But I do have to remove water spots on this car. Um, got uh, hit by our sprinkler system over the uh, over over the uh, trip to the shore uh, specifically on the right side of the car um, I was under the impression that the water in the sprinklers was just the water that goes into the ground and gets basically a reclamation system but uh, apparently not apparently it's hard water um, I fixed the hood when I was down there um, but I really didn't have a lot of stuff on hand to be able to go in over with that so i'm gonna have to polish here a little bit but um so yeah that's easy way to clean up the bugs and uh do it in a in a sensible fashion get it done quickly same process with um whether the you know the vehicle has a lot of bugs on the front again american detailer the garage f-bomb diluted 10 to 1 followed by an ounce to one gallon of water of american detailer garage wipeout microfiber towel go over the surface of the vehicle. You can dry it or you can just rinse it off. And then uh, we'll talk to you next time.